What's up, Glam Squad? It's Glamorous CT here, and today we're gonna be doing this cute, simple St. Patrick's Day makeup. Okay, guys, as you can already see, I've already applied my brows and the base. Um, right now, I'm just gonna be applying some dark green eyeshadow into my lid and my crease as well. Next up, I'm gonna be applying some light green on top of the dark green and I'm just going to be blending that out the best way I can. You guys, why the heck did I just say blending like that? But anyway, I'm just gonna be blending that out and I do add a little bit of yellow just so it can all come together. You guys always remember that you want to take your time out and blend out all of the product. You don't want it to look kind of patchy. Next, I'm going to be cutting my crease. Now this crease is not gonna be a full cut crease. It's gonna be a half cut crease. And then I'm going to be putting a shimmery green color a shimmery lime green color and just darken up the outer corner with some black and dark dark green and then after I do that I will apply my black eyeliner with the eyeliner I didn't do my classic wing I just blended it out with the black the best way I could and I also applied glitter which was it wasn't planned but I was like you know what can't finish this look without some glitter so right here I'm just putting on some green eyeliner to top it off and just doing a little bit more blending So I'm done with the eyes I will move on to my foundation you guys look at this big beauty blender like this is my first time ever seeing something like this but anyway my boyfriend is like clockwork he has to come and interrupt my makeup videos like always but hey I enjoy his company As I forget to rave about this product so much but I have an itsy bag and itsy sent me the um, Tarte concealer I'm not sure what the name is but it is so bomb it is so bomb I just love to blend this out it's so like it's bomb you guys I don't even know how to explain it but after I'm done setting my face I go ahead and I pack on that powder the best way I can to not make it seem too bold I'm gonna do a light contour and apply some blush and some highlight then I decided to go underneath my eyes and add that same lime green um, eyeshadow and added some mascara to the look last but not least moving on to my lips with my lips I wanted to do a burgundy with a splash of pink so I'm just gonna be outlining my lips with a lip pencil I believe it's from Huda and then I'm gonna be adding some MAC lip glass um, I'm not sure the name of it but the lips came out really really cute moving on to the fun part this is the part where I make the clover I didn't make a four leaf clover I made the original three leaf clover and what I used was my green NYX liquid eyeliner basically because this tool was like the best tool to help me get precise lines and once I drew out everything as far as like the clover After I'm done with that, I just basically outlined it with um, my black elf eyeliner and that was it. It 
it's okay to make mistakes. Whenever you make mistakes, you can always go ahead and cover it up. And that's exactly what I did with some green pigment, which also made it look prettier to me. As long as you know, you can always make mistakes when it comes to makeup. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.